Hello everyone and welcome back to my studio. We're just going to do a quick pour today. I'm trying to use up some leftovers. So I have a 12 by 12 gallery wrapped canvas. And that is of course push and taped on the back. Now our colors, some of them are from my last pour. So this is a mixture of cadmium, Liquitec Basics, cadmium red deep and Arteza's Bordeaux Red. This is our DecoArt Metallic 24 Karat Gold. This is Amsterdam Turquoise Green. Those are our colors that are left over. And then to that I am adding, this is a mixture of Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue into which I threw a little bit of golden Sphalo Turquoise. And then of course I have our white, and this is the Amsterdam Titanium White with a little of the Deco Art Satin Enamels in pure white. So those are our colors. We're gonna just do a quick straight pour. And we're gonna get right to our cup. So we're gonna start with a little white. Just remember what goes in your cup first comes out last. So I'm gonna put a little white, and I'm gonna put a little drizzle of gold. than I meant to, but now we're just going to start layering. going to put a puddle down. Look at that pop. That's beautiful. All right. I forgot to put gloves on again. That's okay. I'll just do a quick one. Let's out a bit. All right. We're going to put a puddle of gold down and pour into that gold. And that's going to help bring some lovely gold cells up hopefully. Out a bit. All right, there's our lovely little puddle of gold. I'm gonna give him a quick torch. Popping up like crazy. All right, let's pour into this. Now we're just gonna do a straight pour. Let me make it wander a little, but it's basically just gonna be a straight pour right there in the center. Nice dismount. Oh, I see some beautiful stuff coming up here. I'll tilt it that way just a little bit. Get some this table's a little off. Everything always likes to run to one side. So I'm just gonna put some feet under that side. going where I don't want it to go. Oh, I'm loving that. All right. I'm going to thin out our white a little bit and use that as a flow extender. Get my water. Just put a little bit more in there. Let's put a white ring around this. I just want to stretch it a little and get it a little more towards the center of the canvas. Around. 
this there are so many things popping up here gorgeous all right I'm gonna give it a quick torch and then we'll be ready to tell it's looking pretty all right let me move some of this out of the way That's a party in a cup. That's pretty. All right, we're gonna start with a sort of a circular motion to get it moving. Stretch it out a bit, let cells pop up without going over. We're just sort of trying to bring everything close to the edge, but not over the edge. Give it a little bit of a all the way around stretch. So you can see what I'm doing here. But I'm just basically going around in a circle to stretch that out a bit. Come down and we'll go over this corner. I don't want it to move too fast, but I'll pull that back a bit. Oh yeah. Right. I'll pull it back to center a bit. Next, as I see some beautiful stuff coming over here, I want to st stretch. So I'm going to get us over to that corner so I can pull it back and stretch it. Just want to touch that corner. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, folks. Very, very pretty. Bring everything down, bring the weight of the paint down towards that end of the canvas a bit. And we'll sort of get everybody to move this way. Look at that corner. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh pretty things are happening. First, I'm, go to that I'm pulling it back a little first because I want to stretch out what I just shot over that corner before I run the next corner. Now I'm looking for composition. So it's, what do I like? Where do I want it on the canvas? Stretch around some things. But now I just want to move that end over there a little bit. I'll push some more off that end so I can stretch what's over here a little. And I'll pull this back in a minute way to the paints down this end, so it's going to take a minute to get there. There we go. Get rid of some of that just so I can stretch out some of this. Now we'll go back the other way. Oh yeah. Such pretty stuff going on here. Corners, but oh, very pretty. All right, this corner over here needs a lot of help. That's okay. That will fix that. 
Oh, that's pretty. All right, let me clean up my corners a bit. Clean up myself a bit. Uh, torch this off, and then I'll take you down for a close-up. Okay, this is looking gorgeous. Let's get you some close-up on this. Look at the lines. And I'm loving all these bubbles and that satin enamel giving me that translucent look. So pretty. I'm loving how the turquoise green is really lighting this up. That and the white. But you still get those bursts of the dark. With that deeper turquoise and the red are taken over. I love this section right here. Okay, we're gonna let this one dry and then I'll show you the dried results. I'm also gonna show you over here, I had a little bit of red and a little bit of the turquoise green, a little bit of the cobalt mixed with turquoise left over, a little white left over. So I just threw it on this little four x four over here because it wasn't enough to make it worth keeping. All right, we're gonna let those dry and I'll take some pictures and let you see it once it's dry. Thanks for joining me. And we have the dry results of this one and it is looking beautiful. I love the little fingerlings here with that bright burst of red and the dark color. bright turquoise green showing up there. And this center is gorgeous. The lines over here with the little bowls coming up. And again, that bright turquoise green just popping out. So, so pretty. Very happy with the end results on this one. Thank you for watching.